what up, what up? It's your boy, Coach Jerry Seymour with the Running Back Academy. I'm here to do a reaction video on none other than The Last King, and that's Derrick Henry. Now, Derrick Henry had 27 carries, 178 yards, and he had three touchdowns. This dude is just a scoring machine. I'm not gonna lie, I was, a, I was, I was, I was a Derrick Henry hater. I did not think that he was gonna come into the league and do damage the way that he's doing, but he is. So right now, I will wear my hater hat, put it on, all right, and let you know that he is by far top three running back in the league, and that will go back about two, three, two to three years from now. One thing I notice about Derrick Henry, he's always falling forward. And DBs do not want to tackle this dude. You're going to see every carry that he had, he did not go backwards, not one time. He is a chain mover. Some of you guys need to understand what that means. It's not all about making the big run. It's all about moving the chains and getting first down after first down. He's the running back that you give it to in the fourth quarters, and defenders do not want to tackle him. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and let's learn something. Peace. All right, so let's get into this first play. So right now they're going to inside zone to the right. And basically this dude, man, it's just one cut and go. Sometimes you don't have to do too much. The hole's there, just hit it, fall forward. And you're gonna see him fall forward a lot more times throughout his carries. Um, we're not gonna see all 27, but we're gonna see a big chunk of them, okay? So let's look at this next play. Motion in my guy across the field. Now we're gonna get him on a perimeter. Watch the stiff arm, and then watch this. <laughs> this is the funny part about, about watching Derrick Henry get tackled. I'm talking about like, watch guys, they all reach. Nobody wants to get a body in front of them. Like they're all reaching. Nobody wants to get in front of this train. And also, what I wanna talk about this, let me re um, rewind this back. Um, when you guys are running swing routes, you wanna get as far out on the perimeter as possible. Because what that allows you to do is that allows you to get either one-on-one -on -one with a DB or it causes that outside linebacker to kind of fall behind. So now he's in chase mode, okay? So you definitely don't want to catch a swing route four yards outside the line of scrimmage because now you're allowing the defense to be able to flow in, close in on you. But if you get to the outside like Derrick Henry does, now that forces like a one-on-one -on -one type deal and you can also get up the sideline. So let's watch this play. See, catches it. Now he has a lane, he hits it, and he gets inside the box. That's just, that's textbook right there. Get on the perimeter, get to the outside, and hit, get as many yards as you can. All right, so let's check out this next play. Let's see what we got here. Got some eye formation action. Nine times the turn going outside zone. And I mean, this is how you hit it right here. Let me, let me back that up. You hit it, and then you just move the chains. There's no dancing, there's no second guessing. He hits it, gets downfield, falls forward. Let's look at this next play. Another affirmation situation. They're going to lead. And this man just turns the corner on people. Like, how, how does that happen? Like, how are you that big and you could just turn the corner on people? I, I just don't get it. Let me let me watch this again to make sure I'm not tripping. And I mean, he out, out runs the linebacker, takes a pretty decent hit. But that's just being athletic, big, athletic, and strong to be able to recognize the inside of the seal. Let me hit the edge and see what I can get. All right. So let's take a look at this next play. Another outside zone. I mean, look look at all this, this reaching with the arms. Let's try this again. Look, watch my man right here, number 32. You see him right here? Watch how he just reaches with his arms. That's not gonna cut it, my man. And then watch the ball switch. He almost splits it. He almost splits the defenders. Now, if he would've split this, I would've been like, I would've went crazy. I'm telling you right now. I mean, look. Barely, just barely, he almost splits the defenders. Let's take a look at the next play. Same play as the first play. Inside zone, falls forward, moves the chains. Let's look at this next one. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Okay, Derrick Henry. Okay. Okay. Let's watch that again. Let's watch it from the top. Comes down. He sticks the foot. Now watch when he sticks his foot in the ground. You see all these, he, his shoulders are facing the sideline. So what defenders are gonna naturally do is they're gonna flow this way, as you see with my mouse. But when he sticks that foot in the ground, watch how the, the defenders over pursue, one and two, and then watch this guy. He's pursuing that way and then he hits the, and then he gets up out of there. One thing about Derrick Henry, man, his stop and go is damn good for his size. 
I mean, he's all of a 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's 240 plus. But as a running back, your stop and go is what makes the good and the greats. You gotta be able to stop and go, transition, accelerate, decelerate when need be. But this is the perfect example of his stop and go ability right here. All right, so let's take a look at the next play. Good job, my brother, that was really, really nice. And then what I like about Tennessee, everybody blocks. This is this is what I mean about a team. They're old school. They line up, out formation, they just get after it. Let's see what happens here. Another outside zone. He cuts it up pretty early. And I mean, let's let's watch this one more time. I mean, from yards of contact, he gets contacted right here at the 40. Contacted again. And then I mean he takes the guy for another ride. He doesn't go down until another 14 yards after. So I'm pretty sure his yards after catch, his yards after catch is ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this next play. Let's go to it. All right, here we go. He hits the outside. Look, another reaching with their arms. Man, you got to tackle this guy low, man. You can't just tackle him up high because he's gonna he's gonna get you every time. Why are you tackling up high two six? That's not gonna work. Reach, kick, take out his legs, man. Why are you up there? But he rips off. Look, <laughs> watch how he slips the other guy too. He still saw him. This guy. He slips number 53, and then he gains, what, a total of, what, seven yards. I mean, this is what I mean by being a chain mover. Okay, so that was my first reaction video on Derrick Henry, the bulldozer, the train, the whatever you want to call him, the chain mover, the hat trick monster, the last king, I mean... Whatever you want to call him, this man got plenty names. But I just want to thank you guys. First and foremost, I want you guys to like and subscribe to my page. I'm going to be doing more reaction videos of different running backs. And basically, I'm just here so you guys can learn something. We all seen the positives about what Derrick Henry did this last game, which... First and foremost, we've seen that nobody really wants to step in his way and tackle him. But next, we've just seen that he's always falling forward, which I think is a lost art, or people don't speak on that a lot. You know, moving the chains, falling forward, um, not making the big run, just getting what you can, one cut it go. You know, those may be the born running backs, but those are the effective running backs. So as I told you guys before, go ahead, like, and uh, subscribe, and then hit me back, man. Make your comments, uh, whatever, man. Get involved, man. My first reaction video, man. Coach Jerry Seymour here, and I'm out. Peace.